a matter that could use your expertise. Care to elaborate? I devised a training simulation wherein a highly trained vigilante has requested our assistance in clearing the city of a long-standing menace. Details, Matt. I need details. I promise you that it's the finest simulation I have ever crafted. Diamond! This vigilante needs our help in drawing out his arch nemesis. To do so, we must confront the foul captain's army of minions, draw out his lieutenants, until the terrible menace reveals himself. Then, we must take him on in an earth-shattering final conflict. Ah, <sighs> the three count. You even got the smell right. A delicate balance of mildew and desperation. Loosest slots in Steelport. Superpowers like yours don't exist in this universe, so you won't be able to use them. Fine. Just make sure this is awesome. Okay. Here comes trouble. This is the army of minions you mentioned? They're fucking zombies, Matt. You... Uh, have to be prepared for anything. I don't think zombies are exactly relevant to fighting Zinyak. So whose army is this really? His true nature is known only to a secret cabal of followers. Uh, well, uh... Matt, have you seriously pulled me into some Nightblade fan fiction? Uh, please! I'm not one of those forum-stalking hacks who spit out poorly constructed Badly edited wish fulfillment brimming with cannon breaking Mary Sue's and So you do go trolling for that kind of thing. Well, of course I've read it! You've been working on this simulation for a while, haven't you? Oh, I wrote the original short story between seasons two and three. And it's Nightblade maybe retiring. So we set about finding the one person who could take his place. Oh Matt. Sweet, silly Matt. Nightblade has a rich cosmology merely hinted at in the television series. As with many classic genre shows, the universe belongs as much to the fans as the creators. Shut up, I'm not judging. You're not? No, I totally am. But I'm not in the mood to have this conversation right now. It's up to the fans to keep Nightblade alive. Especially now that the Earth is gone, and there will never be any more official stories. Yeah, that's the worst part about losing Earth, all right. Thank you, Nightblade. The bad news is the Cardinal is not in the three count, as we originally thought. <sighs> I should have known. Meet me outside the casino. I'm on my way. Oh my god, Nightblade is on his way! to see you again. And you must be the protege I've heard so much about. Yep, that's me, all right. The Cardinal is on the move, but I have good intelligence regarding his final destination. I'll lead you to him. Stay close, but not too much. We don't want to give my nemesis too easy a target. Used in that? This ain't bad. Onward! Toward battle!
So, what do you think? You have to be having some fun. You think so, huh? At least a little bit? I'll give you the zombies, but don't push it. Oh, I knew you were having a good time. So you really built this simulation for Asha? Originally? Yes. I wonder why she would reject such a masterpiece. Asha doesn't appreciate the rich fiction of the Nightblade universe. She called it paranormal bromance. Bummer. Blindsided while we look for the bad guy? Not bad, Matt. Good escalation of conflict. Uh, thank you. So what's the Cyprian Order? I'm not exactly a Nightblade fan. The Cyprian Order are a sect of brave soldiers, waging a clandestine war against the creatures of the night. Franklin Knight was a member of the Order until he succumbed to the Dark Embrace, and was turned into one such creature. A vampire. Okay, so the Cyprian Order hunts Nightblade even though he used to be with them? That's right. But Nightblade still fights vampires, right? Plus the Cyprian Order? Correct! That sounds... better than expected. It's a dramatic work that's exemplar of the form. Driving this city. Is this how you've been using your time since I freed you? It's based on a training simulation that Asha rejected. And how many of these did she ask you to build? I don't know, a dozen? Isn't that overkill? She likes to keep her skills honed. After this gets to... So, Nightblade. What more is there? A girlfriend? A love interest? Oh, oh! Oh my god, yes! Franklin Knight had a wife, Sylvia, who was killed by a vampire. It was this tragic moment that started him on his path as a hunter! A loner. A rebel. And no matter how many bloodsuckers he kills, he'll never again find love. Until he met Marion, who desperately wanted to be Nightblade's bride. But he was forced to walk away, stating, After losing Sylvia, I can never love again. Yeah, that's a pretty good line. One of the finest ever written. Why are we here? Excuse me, Nightblade! I thought we had to lure the Cardinal out first. I enjoyed your story well enough. Zinyak, that's not good. But I thought your ending could use a little work. What are you doing to my story? Matt, don't go near him. I will not! I won't have some effete alien dictator stomping all over my expanded universe fiction! Don't go near him, Matt. Matt Miller, I thought you were my ally. But I am! Now. I find you're actually a pawn of the Cardinal! No, Nightblade, I would never... Miller! This is already so terrible. This is terrible! Focus on the mission. We could have been such close friends, Matt, but you stabbed me through the heart. Metaphoric. We are going to get Zinyak for this! Sure, for this. It's not like we had any other reasons for wanting Zinyak's head on the spike. You're not taking this seriously! I'd just rather not get killed over this map. Forgive me, Franklin Knight! Please give me a shout! I can't take this anymore! I don't want to fight you, Nightblade. It's done. Nightblade is fine. Sorry it had to go this way. <laughs> if we don't write a can't stand on it. While my version of this story had Nightblade triumphant over the friend who betrayed him, a far more compelling take on the narrative, I believe, I suppose you'll have this your way, then. Let's get out of here. I can't stand the way this has turned out. We're not finished. We're not? We're not done till you get your powers. Powers? Powers? How would I... You mean from Nightblade? The war goes on, Matt. The creatures of the night must be defeated. And you're just the person to take over for Franklin Knight. So... you do understand. Okay. If it makes any difference? Yes? As Planet Earth's sole surviving world leader, this must be within my power, so... I hereby assign you all rights, titles, licenses, and possibly merchandise rights to the Nightblade proper. What? I do have one condition, though. Of course. Never stop.
everything okay? Kinsey told me she saw veteran child inside your simulation. I didn't think it still bothered me, but I'm actually worried about this. Wait, you're worried about veteran child? I don't want him coming to try to kill me again. Again, again. Fuck it, you know what I mean. Can we just go kill him, please? Veteran Child's getting ready to give a DJ concert in the park. The last thing I want is him setting up shop and coming after me again. Which is why- Hey, hey! Chill. This'll just take a sec. Which is why we need to score something to boost us up for killing that douchebag. There's deals going down around the city. We crash in, wipe out any resistance, and party with whatever they got. Trust me, this alien shit should give us an edge. All right. We'll do the drug thing first, then deal with veteran shot. Hold on. Why are we listening to this burnout? Veteran child is out there and you're gonna help her score drugs. Hey, I'm just trying to give us an edge. What's wrong with that? Okay, everybody chill the fuck out. We can do young Shandi's drug thing first. Veteran child's not going anywhere. Thank you. If you even think about calling me old Shandi, I am gonna shoot you. This is the place. All right, let's clear these guards out. Fine, whatever. The dealer ducked around the corner. This sucks. I swear, if we get killed before we even get to Veteran Child, I am going to be pissed. What do you know about this stuff? Some alien-created drug. Supposed to enhance your abilities on top of giving you a really wicked buzz. Right, just like you thought Loa Dust was going to make you clairvoyant and invincible. I never did test that invincible part. Make sure to get the package from the dealer. Let's give it a shot. That's interesting. Oh, God. What's interesting? This doesn't look like the right stuff. Yeah, this stuff doesn't seem to be doing anything. Damn it! This guy was selling a low-grade knockoff. Or maybe it just doesn't do anything, like I said. Hey, I'm the expert here, remember? Trust me, this wasn't what we're after. We'll give this thing one more shot. Then we're helping old dirt. Cool with me. My source says this next guy should be loaded with the right product. Then why'd we hit that last one at all? What's wrong with one and more? I hate myself. You're wound up way too tight. I am just trying to get our ex out of our lives for good. I thought that you'd at least appreciate that. I'm all for being serious about dealing with problems, but that doesn't mean giving up on having a little fun in the process. Well, not everyone can be like you. But you are me. Don't you see? We're the same. Not anymore. We've got nothing left in common. <sighs> That hurts. Doesn't look like they're happy to see me. That went well. Girl, we've been shot, lit on fire, hit by cars, and now kidnapped by aliens. One of these days, we're not going to get back up. And when that day comes, if we haven't gotten high on alien narcotics, we have not lived a life we can be proud of. Fine, I'll pass this shit. Now this looks like what we're after. Am I the only one not feeling anything? Nope. Maybe it takes a minute to kick in. I knew this was a bust. Come on, you promised to go after Veteran Child now. You're right, Shandi. Let's find your killer ex. <sighs> I don't get it. My powers feel limitless. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man, this stuff is killer. What the hell was that? W Whoa, what happened? I don't know. I just feel... How long has it been since you got high? No, she's right. I feel it too. It's like every muscle in me is gonna burst. Holy crap, we have superpowers. I know, right? I told you I knew what I was doing. Are you two getting along? Well, she's finally mellowing out. Well, you finally had a good idea. I'll bet I'm faster than you. There's no way that's possible. Yeah? Then come on, let's see what you got. 
Wait, didn't you want to go after... Oh, you're off. There's no way you're out running. Then catch me. Where the hell are you two going? You call that fast? What's the matter? Smoke too much? Let me show you how it's done. All right, quit playing around. I won. No, you didn't. I was right with you the whole time. Shondi's fine. I'll fight you for it. Bring it on. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, remind me not to do that again. Well, if you both are done playing around, we should probably go after veteran shot. Oh, good point. Sorry, you're right, boss. It's okay. Let's get moving, though. I still totally won. Looks like we have some special love action. Crash our phone. Let's get this party started! Ah, fuck. He's got a shield or something. Deal with the crowd first. We'll pry his ass out of there later. Since when exactly has Veteran Child been the voice of the furry generation? Since, like, never. Why? Why? What why? Look around! We're surrounded by furries! Yeah. Ew. Hold on, are you tripping? <laughs> Total lightweight. This is just a bunch of college students, boss. There isn't a fuzzy purple ass in sight. Wait, really? Shit. That's what you get for hiring club kids as cannon fodder, veteran child. Oh, don't worry. The crowd is just softening you up. What the fuck? I always told you, Sean. Quit confusing love and loathe, you pervert. We gotta find a way through that shield. Kinda preoccupied with these assholes, Shandy. When do you figure it out? I'm trying to not get killed here, but I'll see what I can do. These assholes are getting tougher with each kill. Yeah, but the shield's weakening at the same time. How'd you figure that out? I've got better with that. Even picked up a few tricks from Kinsey. Damn, I thought I was good with the computer, but that's impressive. I am new, remember? That's right. Then go me. You're right, it's working. The shield's getting weaker as his copies get more powerful. Hold on. Look at the speaker. The music seems to be what's causing it in the first place. Come on, Sean. You can take it down. You read my mind. I'll take out these guys. You two do that. No! What have you done? Now fuck me. They all have shields now. It's over, veteran child. I'm shutting you down. What the? Damn it! Get, get off, off of me. me! Who lives and who dies? Fuck that! Holy shit! Now that was awesome. Told you we were the same. So we're good now, yeah? <sighs> yeah. We're cool. Totally cool.
Here's the plan. We what the hell? All right, you two, go in and hey! Damn it, girl, my mission, my call. There's a shipment of trucks being unloaded at the dock. That's where we hit first to start drawing out Zinyak's guys. Sounds good. Race you to the docks? No. Get in. I'm driving. Maybe your mission, but I'm driving, Pierce. Fine. But I control the radio. Okay, but no dubstep. Ah! You said there was a shipment of trucks. What Zinyak need with those? Oh, they ain't for Zinyak. And how's this gonna piss him off? Oh, it won't. It'll piss off who they're for. Why do I feel like I'm talking in circles? Look, all we need to do is to get to the docks and destroy all the trucks. Think you can do that? So you're gonna turn on the radio, or what? <laughs> I thought you never asked. What a... Let's get our destruction on. Okay, what? Why is the Brotherhood here, Pierce? You really surprised? Zinyak's pulling out all the old gangs from our past. Yeah, I guess he is. You figure Donnie's out there too? Oh, I highly doubt that. Takes care of the trucks. All right, let's get going. Back in the car? I'm still not letting you drive. Good. Then we can listen to some more music on the way? Oh, what the hell. We drink beer and beer and beer, beer, beer. She said, no, I don't. I only have a friend. Come on, y'all. Sing it with me. I know you know the hook. Come on. Come on, boss. Come on. Come on. You, you got what I need. <laughs> but you say he's just a friend. And you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Come on, man. You got what I need. Yeah. But you say he's just a friend. But you say he's just a friend Oh, oh baby, baby, you You, you got what I need What the what? fuck is that? How is he in the radio? What is our fuck, man? You say he's just a friend, just a friend. So what? You, you got what I need And you say he's just a friend And you say he's just a friend Hell no Zinyak fucked up Bismarck Key Man, I can't wait to kill that bitch So why'd we head to the new plant? We're looking for some nuclear waste. Here's what are you up to? Damn, they already boxed up the stuff. Hey, start checking the crates. Seriously? Come on, start checking. Uh. 
Nope. Nothing. What if it's not here? It's gotta be. Maybe it's on the other side of the building. Always happy to show off. Great, part two complete. Now to follow the guy getting away. Uh, shouldn't we be moving faster? Uh, that's a good idea. Looks like he isn't that far ahead. Remember, we can't kill him. We have to find out where he's going. Right, boss. <laughs> boss? Shit, I can get used to this. Don't. Traffic didn't used to beat it. So, why ain't we singing? What? You know that's our thing. We turn on the radio and let ourselves go. Who says we have to sing along on every freaking drive? Oh, come on, man. We just did, too. Then be thankful for that and stop distracting me. What? Can't you tell someone and flex those pipes at the same time? I'm not gonna sing if I can't give it my all. Hmm. You have a point. So we're gonna trail this guy quietly. Deal? Alright, go right ahead. Looks like he's heading to the airport. That's where he's at, of course. Where who's at? Just keep going. We won't let him get away. If he's far Whoa, 
wait, that looks like Marrow. Who do you think we've been after? The Brotherhood. The Monster Truck. Radioactive material. Those were things that had meaning to Marrow. Going after them was the only way to get them out. So the Saints wish to play again. Well, this time I'm not going to offer you a deal. Don't worry. We wouldn't take one. I see you let your lackeys do the talking for you now. Hey, Marrow. How's Jessica? Damn it, the bastard didn't die! <sighs> the power I have here is incredible! Incredible? I always hated that asshole. See? My way works! But why didn't we come straight for him and... My. Way. Works. You're right, it did. Nice job, Pierce. You mean, boss. Don't push it. Right. What is she doing? She's corrupting people with some sort of virus that's turning them all into her sex trade workers. Matt's figured out a way to stop it, and once that's done, we need to end Tanya for good. All right, I'm in. bringing Vice Kings into the simulation and building up her empire. But now, she's got a new way of recruiting. She's infected some people with a virus that turns them into her very own sex worker slaves. If that virus spreads, she'll have an army to add to the VK, making them unstoppable in the simulation. Matt's found a way for you to absorb the infection right out of her, killing the virus in the process. Once that's taken care of, we'll head to her club, technically legal, and give Tanya a taste of what she deserves. Matt's been able to trace the infected citizens. I'll take you to the first one. If they're working for Tanya, I don't expect them to go quietly. No doubt. I'm not sure what exactly the virus has done to them, but I'd be careful. Down there. Looks like they're not alone. Is Matt sure I'm gonna be able to absorb their powers? Only one way to find out. Though I'd soften them up before you try it. Here goes nothing. Hope I'm not interrupting something. Still think I'm just a pretty face? But since you're not actually a simulation program, you should be immune to the virus. You both better hope I am. Did it work? How do you feel? Am I wearing... What am I wearing? Sorry, forgot to mention that. It's just a temporary change, nothing permanent. Though the absorption seems to have worked perfectly. No sign of the virus left in that person. Good. Let's get to the next one then. The next infected person's on the move. We can't let the virus spread. Stop the car however you have to. Don't you dare run from me. Get your ass out now. Furry? Oh, fuck me. Tanya's always had her own tastes. She's a level of depravity beyond what I can understand. I'm really not liking this. The last one's by the church. 100% sure that's all, right? For sure. If she had, things would be a lot worse off in here. I know Tani's a bitch, but you really think she can do that much damage? I made the mistake of underestimating her once before, and it cost me my crew and almost my life. Now, if she's back to finish the job, then I say she's probably even more dangerous. Woo! 
All right, this is the spot. A lot of EKs here. And a gimp. Do your thing, then we can go after Tanya. Do my thing to the gimp? At least I didn't absorb his ball gag. I'll meet you at the club. Then we can keep her from doing this to anyone else in the simulation. What's the play when we get to the club? We find Tanya and I put a bullet in her. As long as she doesn't disappear on us again, sure. Don't worry. I'll be sure to block any attempt she makes at slipping through the curtain. See? She's not getting away from me this time. I'll park this thing and meet you inside. I see she's changed the decor a bit. Look at that stage, that lighting, good sound system. Ben, meet me near the backstage door. I have to do something. What's up? Did you find Tanya? Tanya? No. Amateur night? Yes. We don't have time for this. There's always time to fulfill a dream. Hope you're ready, Steelport. Hey, boss! I'm in the zone, Ben! Ugh, this is for you! You've earned it! No sign of Tanya. Her loss. That's because while you were in the zone, she took one look at you and ran for the roof. Damn it. You got nowhere to run, Tanya! That's where you're wrong, sweetie. Go after her. I'll be right behind you. You there, Matt? God, I wish I wasn't, but yeah, I'm here. I made magic on that stage, Matt. Did you see it? Right now, I'm just trying to figure out whether or not there was some sort of residual effect from absorbing those viruses that caused that sudden burst of... I don't know what to call it. That wasn't the virus, Matt. That was all me. 100% pure awesome. Whatever it is, please don't ever make me watch that again. Can we focus on killing Tanya before she gets away already? You think you can stop me? When I'm through, this whole city will be mine. There are two things I'm sure of, Tanya. I just performed the dance of the century, and you're gonna die tonight. Is that what you call that convulsion on stage? You never could recognize true talent. Player, drive her towards the park if you can, but keep her alive. I want to deal with her myself. I'm 
gonna kill you, then I'm gonna find that coward king and make him suffer. Ha! You're the one who's running, Tanya. Well, he's the one who ain't here. He just sent you to do his dirty work. Work? Oh, no. This has been my pleasure. What are you doing? Say goodbye, Tanya. Ah! She's in the park, King. Almost there. Shit, did I just kill her? Ugh! Killed me? I don't think so, sweetie. No, Tanya. You never should have fucked with me and my crew. Please, you don't have the balls. You never could die with dignity. Man, I want to make sure she's really dead this time. Yep, there's no sign of her or a virus anywhere left in the simulation. Good. One last thing to worry about. What exactly does an MI6 agent think is fun? You don't know? Well then, this will be educational. Educational, huh? You know me so well. Gets jacked, no more. It's time for you to experience the life of a Secret Service agent. A VIP is in town, and it's our responsibility to see she safely arrives at all three stops on her route. Along the way, we'll encounter scenarios typical of a VIP escort job. So, you ready to put your life on the line to protect another? Asha, I'm pretty much a superhero. I'm set for whatever you can throw at me. You'll find Matt has disabled your special abilities for the duration of this exercise. But don't worry, you'll get them back once the exercise is complete. Get in. You're driving the VIP to her first stop. So who's a mark? You're at the client's time now. You do whatever needs to be done. Alright, this is bugging me. I know that woman. Who is she? Are you serious? That's Tammy Tolliver, the reporter from Genki Bowl. Couldn't find any diplomats in town or something? A security work is a cereal box. You don't get to pick your prize. Hey, see that guy over there? Tell me. Is he a threat? I don't know. It's your job to know. You have to decide right now. Take him out and possibly kill an innocent human being, or let him go and potentially put your VIP in mortal danger. 
I win this. Fight. I always win my arguments. Nice job, killer. You just killed the nicest man in town. All right, back in the car. He's terrible. We need a better commute. Intel reports high threat probability at our next stop, so we should be prepared for anything. Right, absolutely. Potential threats all over the place. Oh, I'm glad to see you taking this so seriously. Is MI6 really called upon to escort TV correspondents on shopping trips? Prior to MI6, I babysat overprivileged children of foreign dignitaries on multiple occasions. And after a certain street gang... That's Newstime Street Gang of the Year, thank you very much. You'll need a vantage point. Get to that rooftop across the way over there. Cover the VIP as I escort her into the building. Pretending to shoot stuff. You're easily bored, aren't you? Oh no. I'm usually too busy being awesome to be bored. We're coming out now. Everything clear? Blue skies and hummingbirds. Come on out. Snipers! Shit! You said we were clear! I thought we were! <laughs> so why exactly would people be targeting Tammy Tolliver? Did she steal someone's prized cat toy or something? We don't know. You might be surprised to learn how little information agents are actually given. Usually just a name and an objective. Then what's your motivation for doing it? Queen and country, the greater good, duty and honor. And one too many action movies as a kid? Oh, no such thing. Get to the car! Now we're leaving! Are we enjoying ourselves, then? You sure know how to show a girl a good time. But we need to get Tammy somewhere safe. We're almost done. Just one more stop. <laughs> Was it too much for Keep sharp. We may have a situation. Oh, shit! This part of your plan? Uh, uh yeah! Let's say it is. I'll guard the VIP. You get to cover. Well, you are really going all out with this. Matt, feel free to dial things down a bit. Matt? Matt! Oh, is he not answering? Shame. I must have accidentally cut him off. Zinyak, you fucking... Ugh. Always with the vulgarity. Anywho, have some fun with these <laughs> minor changes I made. No problem. Hold on. I'm calling in a rescue vehicle. You can do that without Matt. I wouldn't put us in harm's way without some backup protocol, you know. All right, sit tight. Car should be here shortly. Will I get some more? Ah! Oh, thanks. Just hang on. Here comes a rescue vehicle now. Look. Get back. I'm going to get the car.
Well, fuck. You both sit tight. I'll be back for you. Both of you in! According to plan, huh? It was life without a few curveballs, you know? What now? Is this over? As soon as the VIP's Hilo arrives, she's still in our charge until then. Um, is that how it's being delivered? I don't think so. I knew Genki couldn't be too far behind. He just blew up Tammy! What is Zinyak's fascination with Genki? Why don't the two of them just make a baby already? Do not put that image in my head! What the hell is he doing? Holy shit! He just turned into some kind of super Genki? It appears so. Damn it! Th there's no way we can take it! Could if I had my superpowers! Oh! Huh. Right, well... Hello! Hello! Can you hear me? Glad you can make it back! You can give me my superpowers now. Ooh, I don't think so. I'm not falling for your tricks. Matt, give the powers back! Oh, I see. Okay. What on earth happened while we were disconnected? Explain later! Powers! Now! Let's go. Oh my, this is... Wow! Not bad, huh? Let's kick some Genki ass. Get those furry sons of bitches! Aim for the mascots! Oh man, am I glad that's over. Not bad. You can really handle yourself. <laughs> when it comes to ganking Genki, I'm your girl. Chipped a nail. Let's show Johnny some of what he missed while he was away. Think you can recreate Professor Deathcat's murder maze? Genki Bowl? Oh, absolutely! I'll only need a moment. Great. Have Johnny meet me there. is a Genki Bowl. The rules are simple. Kill everything in front of you, and don't die. Say no more. Let's do this. Just wait until the mascots get a load of my new powers. It hardly seems fair for you to have superpowers when Johnny doesn't. Superpowers? 
Let's just do this how we used to. Fine, no superpowers. For now. I can't even tell you how great it is having you back, Johnny. Well, we thought you were dead. I can't believe you actually thought a trans-euro piece of shit like Philippe Loren would ever get the best of me. Losing you just about broke, Shandy. Yo, it was no picnic for me either being stuck in that Zinyak fucker's torture porn. No. I don't know if Zemo's made it, but Oleg is... First time I met Oleg, he was naked and strapped into a big machine. You know, being stuck in that fucked up side scroller all that time, we live in... You heard the man. Play progresses to the second round. Matt, flip my powers back to on. Fine. It hardly seems fair. Matt, this isn't funny. What the hell are you doing? Oh, gee, I don't know what happened. <laughs> you wear it well. Just fix it. Matt, you are seriously working my nerve. Yo, so fill me in. What's been going on lately? You know, took out some terrorists, became the president of the United States, rolled back the national debt, Ooh, got to fly Air Force One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about before that? Before that was Steelport. You missed the luchadors, evil hackers, and European assholes in black suits. Luchadors? What, you mean wrestlers? Uh-huh. And I thought Stillwater had some fucked up gangs. Yo, what about Philippe? He was our number one target, but we couldn't just stop with him. Yeah, you can't go after one without taking on the whole town. Fortunately, we had Kinsey and Zemos and Oleg and... Zemos and Oleg? Are they on the ship too? Shit, man, with a name like Oleg, I bet he's a big motherfucker. Alright, yo, yo, Steelport sounds like a party town. But it's nuclear. They're good? Well, nobody could replace you, Johnny. Ah, bite me. No, but seriously, lots of new folks wearing purple these days. Kinsey's really smart. Kind of freaks me out how she always knows so much more than everyone else. But we wouldn't be able to take the fight to Zinyak without her. And what about that Mac kid? Were he and Kinsey a thing? Oh, God, Johnny, don't even say that. Don't put that in my head. How about Asha? And what's her deal? Well, that's a good question. She doesn't really talk about herself much. She's good though, right? Feeling a little competition there, Johnny? No, but she seems to. I guess she's not used to having competition when it comes to being the team badass. 
Neither am I. Uh, I gotta know. Keith David. How the hell did that happen? I figured he's Keith David, you know? He can play anything, even the VP. Yeah, sure, but doesn't he remind you of... I know, I know, but don't mention that to Keith. He's sensitive. Before we go, yo, Matt, hook me up with some superpowers. Really? But don't turn me into a fucking toilet. Fucking A. Yo, whenever you're ready. How you holding up, huh? Fine. Just fine. You're not getting tired? Sure you don't need a break? Sure you're gonna make it through this without taking a mortal wound? No guarantees. Oh, you wanna start bringing up shit? We could talk about that stank-ass perfume, the oversized marital aids, and that purple cat tip. Hey, you came close that one time. Yo, grape saint's flow dumped on your fur is not a hereditary trick. But what if it was? Look at this! The kinky girls have entered the arena! I can't wait to see the carnage! Hey, about Sean. I know me disappearing like that. It's obvious she was the kinky girl she was back. No, no, she's not. Yeah. But she's not the only one who got fucked up by your death, Johnny. I don't know, Pearson's fine. Pierce has drank so much Saint's flow, I don't think he can feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know how you feel. I have nobody on my side in that fucking simulation. And half the fun of murdering is doing it alongside a friend. Oh, you too. Ah, oh, Jesus. Now, can we quit being pussies and shoot these fucking mascots? I hope you don't mind, but I took this opportunity to create something special for you two. Well, more for Johnny, really. Should I be concerned? You'll find out soon. Okay, we're here. Now what? Now what? Alright. 
find. Surely even you must know what's next. Philippe. Neither of you really got a chance to take out your frustrations on him. Matt, you might just be a genius after all. Please. You are dead. Like that. Philippe Loren, former head of the syndicate, is dead. Again. Zach, that was a hell of a match. Indeed it was, Bobby. Drama, comedy, pathos, and gallons of blood. Everything that makes this sport a sweet science. Wrong sport, Zach, but I know what you mean. This is getting a little weird for anyone else. But just me. Uh, yeah. Matt, get, get us out of here. I totally want to go to the mall later. Sounds like trouble. It is. There's no way to fight a lady. Cyrus Temple, that government thunk has been a thorn in my side far too long. As if he wasn't bad enough in real life, the even more messed up virtual one has invaded the simulation. We're going to Sierra Point to destroy his base and end him once and for all. Is Cyrus really that bad of a guy? Are you kidding me? He's- Whoa, kidding. Why are you so pissed off? You saw what he put me in. You saw. Huh. Here I am thinking this might be about the time he tried to nuke the US. That Cyrus is dead. This blow everything up! Ugh, someone sure is excited about taking the fight to the enemy. Just get in a tank already! Reporting for duty! Cyrus Temple can break into this simulation. This incarnation of Cyrus came from my subconscious. I can only assume he took some of my knowledge about how this whole thing works with him. Do you have any idea how insane that sounds? Do you realize how crazy everything since we were abducted from the White House sounds? I'm just trying to roll with the punches and not dwell on the absurdity. for you. Take out everything! Here he comes! He's in a jet! I hope you're ready for this. Bitch, ready's my middle name. Not you, him! Can't wait to take you back to where you belong. The kitchen! Looks like that took care of him. Don't bet on it. I know he's still here somewhere. Hey, Kinsey, are you still trying to fight a man's fight?
Let's see if you can handle this. All this fighting is making me hungry.